Friday, there's gonna be a room tour of our home for the next nine hours. Nothing compares to this, like that nine hours went super quick. How cool is it? I didn't even like realize it was gonna look like this. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to Turkey. We just finished up an incredible two night kind of living abroad one of these boats, but we're now jumping on a bus and making our way towards Antalya. Alrighty, three, maybe four hours later, we've made it to Antalya. Thank you. Welcome to Antalya. Antalya? Probably. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Antalya. Yeah. Welcome to Antalya, everyone. We're about to catch a tram to our hotel, and this is where we're going to be spending the night for the big long journey to Cappadocia tomorrow. Oh, yeah. The number one thing that you guys have messaged us telling us to do is to go to Cappadocia, so it is happening one more day. Pretty sure we just put out our Instagram stories over here, and I was like, What's your tips? And someone was like, I've seen a beautiful place with hot air balloons. I was like, I think we know the place. So we're currently walking through the old town right now and they've actually preserved some of the old pavings. Oh wow. So they've built like what we see now on top, but they've preserved some so we can see what it used to look like. So you can still see like drainage systems and everything like that from the old town. And it's now a cafe. And now it's a, a really nice hotel. I had a sneak in yesterday. There's a pool oh, wow, right this... in the middle of the breakfast oh, area. Oh my goodness. No, That's... we're not staying there, but um, I remember the place for next time. <laughs> Before we go on our big long bus to Cappadocia, so we had a couple of hours to go around and explore. But this is the entrance to the old town, Adrian's Gate. And it's still just open, like it's not locked off. It's a very beautiful gate. This is the protector of the gate. Hey, buddy. We shall call you blue and red eye. You know what's really cool about Turkey is that they really look after their stray animals and if they've got these little tags it means that they have been vaccinated for rabies and everything like that. Hey Hadrian's gay. It's really cute. It's like just having pets wherever we go. Hey. One thing we've noticed about Turkey is how they integrate the ancient city in with the modern city. So rather than locking it off and be like, this is for museums, you can just walk through Hadrian's Gate. You can just walk through some of the other sites and just part of the city, which is really cool to see. So speaking of strays being part of the community, look at this. They've literally made a little home for all the kitties. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, you're big so mama. cute. So look, they've set up houses for them. You can donate some money so that the community can feed the cats. Oh my gosh, it's a little one. Hello. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, little kitty. Oh. I've never seen this in another city before, so good work, Antalya. So guys, this is the ancient harbor and they still use it today. We've seen these ships go in and out throughout the entire day. This town looks so medieval. Look, there's still the wall that goes along the town. Oh yeah. Before we head off, I thought I'd show you guys where we're staying. So we're in the old town. We're staying at Laser Pension. I also like how our, our hotel disguises itself as a cafe. Yeah, that's true, with the slushy machine. <laughs> okay guys, we've come to the intercity terminal. Shahir Arasi. No, I did you're good. very, very off. I did this is like the main bus terminal here in Antalya. We're about to jump on our bus. It's going to be, I think, nine hours. And we're driving with Suha, the yeah. tickets we got, and they're around 150 lira. It's going to be fine. We've caught a couple of buses here in Turkey and they've been like business class. I think this is class airplanes. Literally, seat, so. the buses here in Turkey are the best public buses we have ever driven. So it's like around $30 for a nine hour bus, and you just wait. The buses here are amazing. Okay, we're hyping it up too much. We don't it's know about this company. It's because they give you snacks. <laughs> a bus snacks. that gives you snacks is a bus that I will forever be using. So our guide is just picking them up from the stand here, EZ33. But of course, because we're on an intrepid group tour, it's all included for us, but if you guys wanted to know, that's where he's getting it from. Stocking up on some snacks. So you can buy like some neck pillows if you want. Alrighty, let's give you a room tour of our home for the next nine hours. 
So we are 17 and 18. Cool. 17 and 18. Nice. I see we have screens just here. Got chargers. There should hopefully be some movies and TV on here. And they seem to lean back quite far. This is going to be good. I love how it's Mercedes, is it? Mercedes, yeah. Alrighty. Let's do this. Awesome, thanks so much. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Any bus that gives you free coffee first thing in the morning is the best bus. Also, coffee tea snacks. Alrighty guys, we've been going for about four hours now and it is time for a half an hour lunch spot. Hopefully they have Gozlemi because I'm obsessed with Gozlemi. I do. The stop we've come to is Gnaiden, four hours in. Man, I don't know how I'm going to go without these fresh Gozlemis when we leave Turkey. Mm. This one's got potato and feta in there. So good. Uh, okay. Let's check my truck stop fortune. Probably not a good idea if I can't speak Turkish, but... <laughs> I like the Chinese jingle there. Um, if anyone can read Turkish, let me know what my fortune is. Honestly, I've done long, long bus rides before. I think we did like a 36 hour one in South America. Nothing compares to this. Like that nine hours went super quick. They gave us like teas and coffees throughout the trip. Had like three stopovers where we could get lunch and all that. And I'm faulted, but wow, we've just arrived in Cappadocia. The sun has gone down, so we've missed our first sunset, but it doesn't matter because this place, what we've seen so far, just looks so unique. Steve, this place looks amazing! Oh my gosh! How cool is it? I didn't even like realize it was going to look like this. So after nine hours on a bus, we've worked ourselves up quite an appetite and we've literally just jumped off and gone into a restaurant because we've heard there is a very unique style of cooking here at this restaurant, or here in Cappadocia in general. This place looks so cool. It's like literally carved, well, out of the rock. I'm not sure. How do they seal it? So this is like the traditional dish here in Cappadocia. And um, my meal right now is inside a pot. And he said he's going to come and smash it open. So this has been sealed and slow cooked for three hours. How cool is that? What's it sealed with? Is it like potato? Is it like some sort of... Is it, is it clay or is it like food? It's like a food. It's coming over with a hammer. Ah. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Woo! Hey! Oh, yes. That's so wow. cool. For some reason, I thought it was gonna smash everything. Yeah, that's what I was like, but then all the pots would go inside the food rights. But it has all cracked. That's so cool. And do you think I just pour it out? No, I just eat it out of it. So it looks like a pile of... <gasps> oh, it's really hot. Maybe I'll eat it out of there. Beef, beef. Oh, thank you. Ready? Chicken. Oh, ready? Chicken. Yep. Vegetarian. Thank you. Anyone else? Beef. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Thank you. So this is pronounced testy kebab, if you wanted oh, to order it. Oh, literally, it looks like the word tasty kebab. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a pile of veggies, 
and it comes with rice. So would you say like a veggie casserole? Mm. Oh, it's so yummy. There's like eggplants and beans, onions, I see a bit of corn like a tomato in there. base. And you could also get it with beef, lamb, chicken or veggie. And Cleo's had a bit of an explosion. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut to her footage. Alright, so we're actually staying a little bit outside of the main town for the next two nights just so we can have the experience of staying in one of these cave hotels. So we're staying at Cheese Nazim, I think that's how you say it, which is like Nazim is welcoming us to stay here. And I'm excited to go see it because this is going to be a really cool experience. So they say they don't have standard rooms, it's just whatever hole they've dug out of the side of these cliffs. Are you the night's watch? Well, we're just checking in the reception and look at what's just opened up to us. We're staying in like a volcanic gorge, apparently. Wow. This place is so cool, Steve. I can't even like take it all in. <laughs> I feel like we're staying in like Lord of the Rings or something. Oh. We are literally sleeping inside a cave. Oh my gosh, this room is amazing. It's massive as well. What? So, I haven't actually learned exactly what's going on. But here what they do is like with this cave, they dig and dig and dig until they get to like a really hard rock and then they turn that into their house. And we are literally staying inside a cave. This place looks amazing. Great it's massive there. as well. What? Oh my gosh, the bathroom wow. is so big. What is this? Look at the bathroom as well, it's so cool. Oh and I love all the rugs everywhere. Seriously, this place is huge. This camera's doing a no job. Oh my goodness, what talk about the biggest bathroom ever. Where's the shower? That, there. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna have to show you guys more tomorrow because it's so dark right now, but outside it looks so cool. It's like not picking up to the camera, but wow. This is like a bucket list moment. We've always wanted to come to Cappadocia. We've seen such amazing photos and heard such amazing things about it. And now we're here and I'm so excited. We have a really fun three days planned. So yeah, can we get in the vlog? So thanks so much for watching guys. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because we're going to hang out with you every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time and we'll show you all there is to do here in Cappadocia starting at 4am with a little hot air balloon ride. See you guys tomorrow. A little boxes on the hillside A little boxes made of ticky-tacky Little boxes